In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning, and welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. So, my dear friends, as we prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins, let us acknowledge our weaknesses. More importantly, let us acknowledge the merciful heart of God. You seem to call sinners, Lord have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to life everlasting. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to us. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. First reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. You must have heard of my career and as a practice in church, how merciless I was in persecuting the church of God, how much damage I did to it. How I stood out the, among the other Jews of my generation, and how enthusiastic I was for the tradition of my ancestors. Then God, who had specially chosen me while I was still in my mother's womb, called me to his grace as choose to travel, as to choose to reveal his son in me so that I might preach the good news about him to the pagans. I did not stop to discuss this with any human being, nor did I go up to Jerusalem to see those who were already apostles before me. But I went off to Arabia at once, and later I went straight back from there to Damascus. Even when after three years I went up to Jerusalem, to visit Capus and stayed with him for 15 days. I did not see any of the other apostles. I only saw James, the brother of the Lord. And I swear before God that I, what I have just written, written is a literal truth. After that, I went to Syria and Cilicia and was still not known by this sight of the churches of Christ in Judea, who had heard nothing except that their one-time persecutor was now preaching the faith he had previously tried to destroy, and they gave glory to God for me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. O Lord, you search me and you know me. You know my resting and my rising. You discern my purposes from afar. You mark when I walk or when I lie down. All my ways lie up open to you. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. For it was you who created my being, knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you for the wonder of my being for the wonders of all your creation. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Already you knew my soul. My body held no secret before you, when I was being fashioned in the secret and molded in the depth of my earth. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are they who hear the word of God and keep it. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. 
Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came to a village, and a woman named Martha welcomed him to, into her house. She had a sister called Mary, who sat down at the Lord's feet and listened to him speaking. Now Martha, who was distracted with all the serving, said to the Lord, Lord, do you not care that my sister is leaving me to do all the serving all by myself? Please tell her to help me. But the Lord answered, Martha, Martha, he said, you worry about the fact about so many things, yet few are needed, indeed only one. It is Mary who has chosen the better part. It is not to be taken from her. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. St. John of the Cross once said, Contemplation is a secret, peaceful and loving infusion of God. In our life, we are worrying about many things. We are working, we are cooking, we are doing things, we are praying, we are doing charity work. So many things we are missing, which is important in our life, in day to day going. It is just like the light. We see the light, we see the shine. And this room will be lit because of the light. However, without the electricity, the light cannot be shined. It is the same thing with contemplation. Without that inner prayer with God, without the inner connection with God, our life cannot be functional. So my dear brothers and sisters, let us ask the great, a grace of contemplation. Let us ask the grace to be connected be still and know that he is God. Blessed are you, our God, for creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us a bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Let me check water and wine. We shall leave your Christ. Do humble himself, shall I know him and Blessed are Lord God for all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God for Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifices at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for good and good of all his church. Accept, Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands and through the sacred mysteries, which we celebrate with dutiful service, gracious to complete the sanctifying work, with which you are pleased to redeem us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our deity and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, to your beloved Son Jesus Christ, your word to whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, and so to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You indeed are holy, O Lord, and fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a deep form, so that they may become for us the body 
and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he entered willing into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks and broke it. He gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Charles our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face, have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Saint Joseph, the Spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we will be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy 
that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, and so to be transformed into what we consume through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless you, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Go forth and proclaim the gospel by your life. Have a blessed day. May God bless you.